Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the 30 most important questions for the subject of applied thermodynamics. Let us start with the chapter wise important questions. So in the chapter 1, that is properties of gases and gas mixtures. There are three important questions from this chapter is that first is derives Van der Waals equations. It is very important questions from the unit 1 in which you need to have discuss about Van der Waals equations, what are the different assumptions that made for the Van der Waals equations and finally you need to calculate the value of A and B that is constants appear in the Van der Waals equations. The second question is define the different laws that is given in the syllabus of unit number 1, Avogadro's law, equations of state, laws of corresponding states and Gibbs Dalton's law. And third one is a generalized compressibility charts. So this is the three questions from unit one is the most important for GDU examinations. From the unit number two that is psychometry. So only students need to prepare from this chapter is the basic definitions related to the psychometric terms and most important is the numerical basis on that definitions. So students you need to prepare the two points from the unit number two that is definitions of basic terms related to psychometry and the numerical basis on that definitions. The so unit number three is a very important because it is a combination of two different units refrigerant and refrigeration cycles. So most important question from the unit uh, three is discuss the various properties of ideal refrigerant. So in, in that you need to discuss the thermodynamic, physical and chemical properties of ideal refrigerant. And furthermore, the next is you need to prepare the vapor compression cycle along with the pH and TS diagrams. As well as there are certain modifications is also given in the refrigeration cycle. You need to prepare the subcooling and the effect of the subcooling on the performance of vapor compression refrigeration systems. And in syllabus, there are more one topic is there that is a flash intercooler, flash gas removal and water intercooler. So you need to discuss or you need to prepare the compound compressions with intercooler, flash gas removal and flash intercooler. Then after that in the unit it is given vapor absorption system. So vapor absorption system is very important for the GDU examinations. And out of LIBR NS3, one system will definitely there in the GTO question paper. So you need to prepare both the systems, liquid bromide vapor absorption system as well as aqua ammonia systems. Then from unit 4, that is a fuel, air and actual cycles. So only 2-3 questions is there. First question is what are the different assumptions that we made for the analysis of fuel air cycles. And you also need to discuss the variations of specific heat in auto as well as in diesel cycle. And most important question is how the actual cycle is differ from the ideal cycle and what are the losses that we are considering while we have analysis of actual cycle. So you need to explain any one losses of the actual cycles. Now unit number 5. In unit number 5, there is one numerical definitely there from the unit 5 and that is out of the three options. The first one is the calculations of various performance parameter like brake power, indicated power, mechanical efficiency, brake thermal efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency. So that is one type of numerical. Second type of numerical is to prepare the heat balance sheet from the given data and third one is a numerical based on the Morse test. As well as in this unit there are various emission control method is given and out of that the two is most important one is exhaust gas recirculation and catalytic converter that is two important uh, method for control of emission. So you need to prepare these two along with the various method to obtaining the frictional power that is also important question and variable compression ratio engine so various method is there for obtaining the variable compression ratio and you have to explain any one and last one is the different method to measure the pollution in the exhaust gases like you have to go for a smoke meter or exhaust gas analyzer so this kind of question will ask from the unit number five now unit six is very important 
fundamental of compressible flow so basically the three main questions are there but i have mentioned the four questions over here so first and very important question is a stagnation properties and derivations of stagnation temperature stagnation pressure and enthalpy then the derive the expression for velocity of sound in a compressible fluid flow and the third question is very important the propagations of pressure wave distributions in compressible fluid flow with neat sketch and last is the area velocity relationship for the compressible fluid flow so these are the four important questions which is asked minimum in seven marks from the unit number six now students unit seven is comprises of the three different topic that is reciprocating compressors centrifugal compressor and the axial flow compressors so i have mentioned all these three topic separately so from reciprocating there are two main important questions is there first is derive an equations for minimum work done in case of two stage reciprocating air compressor with perfect intercooling and the second is the various method of control of air compressor and explain any one of them from the centrifugal the most important question is surging and choking phenomena in centrifugal compressor the second is basis on the different types of impeller used in the centrifugal compressor and their characteristics cause and last question mentioned over here that is important questions from the centrifugal compressor is the working principles of an centrifugal compressor now from axial flow compressor the first question is with the suitable sketch explain the working principle of an axial flow compressor and draw the stage velocity triangles and the most important question which is asked in 3 to 4 marks that give the comparisons between axial flow and centrifugal compressor and last is also important it is similar to the surging and choking phenomena that happens in centrifugal compressor here surging and stalling phenomena happens in axial flow compressor so students you need to prepare this 30 most important questions for at least to get the 23 marks in the gtu question paper furthermore i want to emphasize over here that from this examinations gtu follow the rules and regulations which is mentioned in the syllabus like co wise percentage weightage so in the syllabus of the applied thermodynamics there are five course outcomes are given that is mentioned in our curriculum along with that percentage mark weightage is given so according to this percentage mark weightage the approximate weightage of marks for the different course outcome is mentioned over here in this column that co1 is comprises of unit 1 and 2 which is have a weightage of 16 mark the co2 which is map with the chapter number 3 having the approximate of 10 marks then co3 is a map with the unit number 4 and 5 which is having a weightage of 22 marks and co4 is map with the our unit number 6 and having the weightage of 10 marks and co5 is map with the unit number 7 and having a weightage of 12 marks so student you also need to prepare along with this guideline which is given in the gtu syllabus thank you students for watching this video thank you